Passing along an art such as fly fishing to a child can be both frustrating and rewarding. The frustration can come from not being patient enough or by not preparing properly. The rewards can be the enjoyment from watching a child learn a new skill through the respect they gain for the environment that we're blessed with. Today we're at the St. Mary's River, near Kimberley in British Columbia, and we've brought 11 sons, daughters, nieces and nephews to learn the sport of fly fishing. Joining us are Dale Fresky and his two sons, Ryan and Stephen, Don and his daughter, Amanda, and I have nieces and nephews, Alex, Yost and Lizzie from Dundas, Ontario, and Robert, Craig and Justine from Trail, BC. My two children, Kyla and Jordan, and wife Carolyn, who's agreed to put her teaching skills to use and keep everyone organized. Fishing with children, that's today, as Streamlines proudly presents Sport Fishing on the Fly. Well, today we got a special treat for you, and it's really a special treat for us because we got our families with us today. We had 11 kids along that yeah. we're going to teach how to fly fish. And, you know, we get to go to a lot of neat places, but we never, or not very often anyway, get to bring our families yeah. fishing with us. And we that's exactly it. what we've done today. And we've been hounded, you know, let's go out fishing. And yeah. it's really good that the kids are that interested in going out fishing. I think it's really good to get their interest in fly fishing early. So what we've done today is we've prepared them to what to expect for fly fishing because Amanda, your daughter, has fly fished a little bit at the river. She has. My daughter Kyle and son Jordan have maybe been once or twice down at the river as well. Yeah. The rest of them are all pretty much new to fly pretty fishing. Pretty fresh. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> we got nieces and nephews here today, 11 kids. That's a lot. Oof. But we had to organize and the organization was not just thinking ourselves what we were going to do today, but it was also letting them know what was going to happen today. That was really important. Exactly. What we'll go out, keep their interest, get them fly fishing, show them how to cast and then maybe get a fish for them if they don't get a fish, keep their interest and have some fun. Yeah, yeah. because kids are used to the commercial mode, you know, every seven minutes you get a commercial. <laughs> <laughs> they, are. So they want action every seven minutes. Yeah, exactly. And when you come out fishing too, try not to fish yourself. Maybe catch them with the oh, fish, like yeah. you were saying, maybe, maybe not fish yourself and really focus on the kids. I think if there's one thing you can go away from this show with, if you're going to go and teach some young person a, a fine art or something, is let them do it. Yeah. It really is important. They're going to tire out. We got 11 kids here. Yeah. I, I guess within three hours, they're going to be off running around Throwing in the woods and doing playing, stuff. Yeah. <laughs> that's going to be our turn. Yeah. But exactly. to start with, yeah, let them do their thing. Focus yeah. on them. Excellent. And that's what we're going to do. We're going to take a little break right now. We're going to come back and yeah. uh, we're going to have the kids rigged up and see if we can get them to cast. Right on. I'm looking forward to it. It's going to be interesting. Be interesting <laughs> is the word. Now, see how the fly's going that way? Because there's a bit of an eddy in here, so you want to cast it out that way and then it'll drift back through here. Okay. Because there's protection for the fish sitting just out there little ways. Okay, that's it. it's going down so fast? You, because you're dropping your arm down too fast. Remember, you're trying to push it straight out. Push it out. Like that. Just like that. There you go. Okay. Once you get it out there, then lower the tip down and bring in the slack line. Okay. Bring in the slack. Okay? 
There you got it. Yep. Okay, fire it out again. Okay, up and out. And again, do it again one more time. See if you get out of the first. Oh, tragic. Okay, right there. Okay, tip down now. Tip the rod down. Tip it off. It's supposed to be fishing. You're supposed to like bugs. That's good. I'll give it a good all arm. Straight. Everything straight like that. Okay? Hold it. There you go. Slow, slow and hard. No, don't bend your wrist. See how your wrist is straight? Yeah. Then you let it go. See? Okay, leave it there. And fire. There, good cast. Okay, rod tip Whoa, down. Whoa, it's tip way down. Okay. Yeah, it is. Good job. Okay. This is First thing about fly fishing is learning how to mend your line. See how you're out in the current there, which is where the fish are sitting? Yeah. But the water's coming back this way through here. It's called the eddy. After you cast out like that, when you drop your rod tip down, I'll show you, go out, drop your rod tip there, and then lift oh. it up a bit, and that allows the water to push this line without pulling the fly back towards you. Okay. okay. That's called line mending. Okay, and it just allows the fly to drift a little longer. Try it again? Give that a try. Yeah, because that last cast was awesome. Good one, okay. Oh, the mend, there you go, there's a the mend. Okay, and good. Bring it back. Just like right there. You just want to keep it so that the rod tip's nice and high. Okay, yeah, you see them fighting there. When you tug, tug, tugs, you can let go of the line. There you go. And keep trying to keep the rod, there he goes. See him pulling? Yeah. That's it. Now, right when you get to the top, you can stop winding now. Okay. And then just lift your rod tip up. I'll go over to. I'll go over and try to get him. See how he's pulling? That's good. That's where he's giving his fight now. Nice cutthroat. See that? There you go. How's that? Way to go! Right first in there, fish. your first trout, first hey? First BC fish. You want to touch him? Oh, <laughs> you know. <laughs> There you go, you can give him a little he's pet, jaw. There, he's kind of slimy, isn't he? <laughs> and then what we do is we just aim him upstream like this, so that he's rested, okay. so he gets nice and rested, because he fought all the way in there, and then what he'll do is swim away. See him go? Yeah. Back to the river. <laughs> good job. <laughs> all right. You're casting good enough that you could do what we call a false cast. A false cast. So you bring it up, do one false cast, that gets the line going the direction you want it to, and then the fly, see how the fly sits down like that? Good line, man, too. Excellent. What do you think of fly fishing? It's fun. A little different, isn't it? What we need now is the fish to move in. They're all kind of far out while everybody's been learning how to cast. Good cast, Jordan. I'm impressed. My son. Awesome. Okay, I'm going to go see how the other guys are doing. Okay. And then maybe we'll have something to eat, and then maybe the fish will come in, and everybody will start catching fish. Good cast, Kyla. Oh, wow, the gang. <laughs> hey, you guys are doing good. Our two girls, Amanda and Kyla. So how are you guys doing? Good. Yeah, I see you guys are casting pretty good. What's with the shades? <laughs> nice glasses. Those gotta be Kyla's. Yeah. So I told Kyla that, and Amanda that Dale was like on the Canadian fly fishing team, gets to fish yeah. the World Championships, and of course he comes straight up to here. So where do our kids go? Right to the head of the pool. <laughs> that's where he was catching the fish. That's right. And that's what like the other ones too. They said, hey, Uncle Dale's the only guy catching fish. Let's all move up. So they're right. He was the only guy getting them up here. So don't be bashful. Right? Don't be bashful. Yeah. Exactly. The big thing about fishing with kids and, and look, I mean, when we first came out, most of this, over half of them had never fly fished before. And yeah. they're all casting 30 feet, 40 feet now. They're doing oh, very good. They're really good. They're look learning how to mend a little bit. <laughs> Putting it out where the fish are. Excellent. Having a lot of patience is really critical. Yes. And I probably don't recommend coming out with 11 kids either. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I would. But if you do, you got to be organized. It is and and sure. we're fortunate that you know we brought Carolyn along today. Of course, she's sitting back reading because you got everybody organized once <laughs> yeah. we got down here. But so much fun. It is. If you're gonna go fishing, especially fly fishing, this is where it starts. Yep. Kids this age, you know, it, it starts at any age. You're, you can start when you're older too, but. If you really want the sport to take off like it is, this is the age that we got to get interested in it for sure. And it's really nice to see the kids are enjoying it, having a blast. I can't believe it. I'm just looking down the river and seeing all these lines going out. It's great. It's We're excellent. doing good. 
what we go to next is hopefully the fish are going to come in and we're going to pick up some fish and then we can teach them about how to release a fish and how to handle a fish properly. Exactly. Yeah. And then the little catch and release, tell them about the, uh, the barbless hooks and all that kind of stuff. Yep. That'll be excellent. Well, you know, a big thing too is getting prepared to come down here. Like we didn't just bring the kids down here. We told them about what was going to happen. We exactly. brought them down here. We prepared them for, you got to be ready to hike in a long ways or buy water. So you have to be careful. Yep. They were kind of part of the process of being involved in today. And that's really they critical when you're going to bring, we're trying to teach somebody. Yeah, exactly. Trying to teach somebody. It's yeah. That was fun with kids. They're always babbling, you know, and stuff. And <laughs> you learn new things. Oh, there. <laughs> that could be messy. Yeah. And no one's got hooked oh. in the head yet either. No. No one's got. No one's got Lucy hooked. Has. Oh, Lucy got. You're right. Lucy got hooked. But that's our dog, right? Lucy's our dog. So. If you're planning on buying a child a fly rod, here are a couple of ideas to keep in mind. The weight of the fly rod should be dictated by the size of the fish you're going after. For the West Slope Cutthroats today, a five weight rod is perfect. Also you want a shorter rod, say eight to eight and a half feet, and one with fast action to keep up with the children's enthusiasm. You'll also want to shorten up the leader to avoid tangles and take a few extra leaders along just in case. You guys are set. There you go. Off you go, wherever you guys want to go. All three of you guys are off. Hold it up here. Okay, what do you put? You put on something on there? I'm gonna go put a black ant on down here. Okay. Stone fly. I think this is gonna catch fish. Okay. Craig's older. They used to be the same size. Come on, you guys, wait out there. You gotta wait if you're gonna catch fish. Yes, wait. I'm not waiting, but wait. Okay. You guys have got that one, hook it in here so you don't get yourselves. Find a spot, oh. have fun, catch a fish. <laughs> Just watch out for Jordan there, he's, he's going for it. Look at how far out he is. Keep reeling him, he's still on there. Reel it up. That's it. You feel him now? Yeah. Oh, there he is. I see him. All right. Oh. Okay, Amanda, you want to come and see your little baby fish you caught? There he is. He's just a little baby. A little baby cutthroat. Not bad, though. We'll let him go. There he goes. Look at now he's all confused. He doesn't know where to go. Whoa, hi, hi. That's a yeah. rainbow for sure. Okay, when he starts to go, let him go, let him go, let him go. You have to take your hand off here when he tries to go. That's a beauty. Okay. That's a big rainbow. That's good. We're, we're thinking it's probably a rainbow. It's mainly a cutthroat fishery here, West Slope cutthroats. We do get some rainbows that migrate th through from the Kootenai River all the way up to the St. Mary's Lake. So if you ever get it in. <laughs> if I ever get it in, is a question. Okay. Okay, reel him up a little bit. Okay, try and, another way to bring him in is you take your rod tip and try and pull him in this way here. Stand still? Yep. Okay, now reel him in that way. So you try and put some side pressure on him, that kind of brings him into the shallow a little bit. Yes! Beauty. Nice fish, that's a big, uh, wow. Wow. Uh, yeah, it's mainly, it's got a little bit of cut in him, but it's a rainbow. It's a rainbow cut. Rainbow cut, yeah. You know when they Come out good. Okay, the idea is we, we turn him upside down, yeah. that disorients him. We always try and keep the fish nice and low to the ground and you never squeeze them. Yeah. Okay? Because that would hurt them. So we set them back in the water. Look how, look look how fat at that the is. Look at the See how pretty that fish is, you guys? Isn't that gorgeous, guys? Oh, oh, a nice oh, fish. Yeah. Hey, hands in the water first. And that way it won't take Oh, us. there you go. Nice. Way to go, guys. Excellent <laughs> fish. That was on the woolly bugger. I think I'll Gee, Dale must be here. All right. That was a good one, eh? So what'd you cast out there? What'd you have? Your dad put on a, woolly I think you, a woolly bugger for you. Okay, yeah. here, let me, give me a little slack here. Okay, let me try it. Oh, that's a nice one, Steve. Okay, let's unhook him. Oh no, I lost, oh. And I lost him. <laughs> but he was a nice one. He was a pretty good fish. All way to go. Okay. Now this is what your rod will feel like when you're gonna cast, okay? Yeah. I'm gonna go and pull it back and force the rod to have pressure on it, all right? Okay, ready? 
Okay, hold it straight up. Okay, now push it there forward you. hard. Real hard. Push it hard. Okay. There you go. There. That's how a cat should feel. Good job. Yeah, keep your right tip up. He wants to go. Yeah, well, when he wants to go, what do you do? Let go. Yeah, you let go of the reel. Okay, but don't let too much back. Okay, pull him in with it. Reel in there. Right out of the current there, wasn't it? Fish is sitting right in the current. And what kind of fly do you have on? I don't know. Grasshopper. Oh. Nice fish. Beauty. Uh, a West Slope cutthroat is right. I've oh. touched a lot of fish before. Do you want to release them? Do you want to do it? Okay. Okay. Here. You need to hold the rod. Okay, here's the rod. I got the rod now. There you go. You do it. He has a hook in his Okay. So when we release the fish, we like to turn them upside down because that kind of disorients the fish. Okay. Turn them over. You don't squeeze them. And there he goes. Mm, oh, you gotta get him. He's all right. He's fighting. Yes, he's fighting. Okay. Okay, that's good. We'll drag him in over here. That's it. Okay. So now you get to see your fish. So we'll tip him upside down. We'll unhook him. Put that away. There he is. There's your first little cutthroat trout. See the nice cuts? That's why they call him a West Slope Cutthroat. He's got nice. Mm -hmm. Red cuts in there. A little guy. Uh -huh, uh -huh. So we'll let him go. Put him back in here. Same car that my sister caught. Yeah, there he goes. <laughs> oh, way to go. Good catch. I don't know where he is. He's kind of hiding. He's digging for the bottom. There he is. Nah, not as big as some of the others have been, but he's not so bad. Aww. Fish is a fish. <laughs> Man, I can't swallow <laughs> All right, there we go. Look at the pretty cuts on them, see? You got, I think that's the prettiest fish we've seen today. See how they got the nice orange on the side there? Turn him over and he's gonna go. See how much energy they have? Good job, Robert. That's a nice fish. Again on the bugger, the bugger's just heating up. Yeah. Not gonna get the dry fly, that's good stuff. All right. Way to go. I can't believe how far you're casting. I'm going to show you a different type of fishing right now, okay? Okay. This is called nymph fishing because the fish aren't rising anymore. Mm -hmm. So we're trying to fish them to the fish that are on the bottom. Fish actually don't sit always at the top. They usually sit on the bottom. So what we're doing right now is i got a fly on that's called a prince nymph. And it's got a little bead head on it. I can show you that in a minute. And that makes the fly go right down to the bottom. But if you just have the fly rolling along the bottom, you never know if you got a fish because you still have to set the hook because they can spit it out, right? Yep. So we use this little thing here. It's Looks like a bobber. People call them bobbers, whatever you want to call it. It's a float. The idea is when you cast it out, you try and get what's called a dead drift happening. You know what I mean by dead drift? Remember I explained that earlier? That's when it's got no drag from the line on it pulling it through the water. It's just sitting on the water, right? So if you can get that, and then when you see this go underneath, then you set the hook. How do you set the hook? You pull the rod up. Lift the rod tip up, right? Okay, there's not too much different about casting this than there is a regular fly, except for you have to wait longer on your back cast. You can't go too fast because that bobber is up about 10 feet and the line will get all tangled up. So you have to slow right down, slow casting. Okay, that's about the only difference. Yep. All right, so I'll let you, uh, let you give it a go here, okay? Sure. Why not? Okay. That's it. Yeah, I got kind of a lot of line up there. That's it. Reel in, reel in. Oh, nice. Nice cutthroat. <laughs> oh, big cutthroat. Is it nice? Okay, when he starts to slosh like that, then you want to stop. Try and keep your rod tip up. There you go. That's the way. Oh, I think this is the biggest fish of the day, Craig. This is my nephew, Craig. Okay, that's good reeling in. That's enough. Let's see if he's ready yet. Oh yeah. Oh. oh, what a monster. Look at that fish. Come right over here, Craig. Right over to the oh, edge here. That's a nice one. Look at that. Okay, remember, whenever you hold a fish, you always get your hand wet first. Nice fish. Okay. That's a beauty. 
I'm gonna swim off fly and get lost. Oops. Okay, we always keep him nice and close to the water. Keep the fish close to the water. And when he's upside down like this, he gets a little disoriented. See the, whoa, is he gonna go? Yep, he's gone. So you got a nice one, George. Oh, he's a beauty. Oh, he's a nice one, eh? If he wants to go, you let him go. Let go of the reel. If, yeah, let him go a bit, let him go. If he wants to go. Yes. Oh, he's a beauty. Oh, he's not ready yet, is he? Oh, if he wants to go, let him go. That's it. Oh, wow. Wow. Wow, look at that guy, eh? Now, look at that. See the cuts on the throat? Look at how bright those are. Look at that, eh? Then pretty fish. Look at how big his mouth is on him. See, that's a good, that's a good uh, 20 inch fish. Yeah, you wanna, you wanna release him? No, I'll show you how to release him. Put your rod down, hand your rod off. Okay, hold him real softly, real softly. Don't squeeze him. No, come here. No, just don't squeeze him. Put something. Okay, come here. Get close to the water. There you go, real close to the water. Now you just let him revive. Hold him up. And just let him revive a bit before you let him go. Just hold him on, yep, under the belly. One hand under the belly and one down here by the peduncle, by the tail, they say. There you go, hold him upright. Keep him upright. And you can even move him back and forth a little bit until he revives to give him a little, a little flow over the gills. And when he wants to go, you just let him go. There he goes. And he darts. Way to go. A good fish. Not bad, eh? Keep reeling. That's good, okay. Stop now? Not yet. You gotta bring him in. See him splashing around over there. Oh, that's Ooh, a nice let's one. Go. Let him go, let him go. As soon as he starts to run, you wanna let him take your hand off the reel so he has a chance to, to take as much line as he wants. Okay, reel him in now. Okay, that's good. Hold on for a second. Let him play himself out a bit. Try and lift your rod tip up. Keep your rod tip high. There you go. Oh, Justine, good fish. Oh, another nice one. Look at that, we're just about ready to go. Hey, everybody's yeah. packed up, ready to go. Get rid of that. See that, Justine? Excellent. Keep him nice and low. What a great way to end the day off, guys, huh? Do you want to come in and touch it? Kyle wants to touch it. That's it, make sure you get your hands wet. Yeah, just, there you go. Touch, make sure your hands are wet. Okay, oh. <laughs> there he wants to go. There goes. Back to feed. <laughs> there you go, guys. Good job, Justine. Nice fish. What a great, great last fish. What a great last fish. Yeah. Oh, man. Yeah. <laughs> what a great day of fishing. Eh? Hey, did you guys have fun? Yeah. Right. Thanks for coming out with us. Had a lot of good fun. Did you guys catch enough fish? No! What do you mean? No! <laughs> it was good fishing today. Hey, we never catch enough fish oh, either. We never can. You never do. But it's been a lot of fun. I'd like to thank Dale for coming along and, yep. and helping out, and Carolyn for organizing us all. And oh, and organizing. And Cleo for keeping us entertained yeah. at times. We bagged her out for sure. Oh, for sure. <laughs> a lot of fun though out here. It was fun. It's different though. We thought we were going to fish a pocket up higher. We did. It's gone. It is. The river High changed water. from last year. Yeah, High but water. this was a good pocket but it's so much different you know like no we expected no still pretty good though some good fish it is in the wild we were prepared we brought all these guys along and when you do the same thing make sure you come out and take care and conserve our waters this is a great cutthroat fishery for everybody the whole family a lot of fun and hey we even caught a rainbow we did that's right <laughs> rainbow cutty cross you bet see you next time on sport fishing on the fly